What's up YouTube, Mike here again, and I've got a interesting phone to talk about, and it is a Windows phone. So if you've been following my channel, you've watched this, and you've known that I've recently decided to give Windows a shot, and the one I want to talk about today is the Alcatel Idol 4S. So let's take a look at it now. So if you are a Windows Phone fan and happen to be a T-Mobile customer, you're really going to love this phone. Right now you can get this on sale at T-Mobile for $288. And if you buy this from the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Store, then you're going to pay almost $500. So that is to get the unlocked version. But if you're already a T-Mobile customer, you like Windows or you want to try it, I highly recommend this phone. It has fantastic specs and hardware. So let's start looking at the hardware. All right, so the hardware on this thing is a glass on glass design. It's got uh, metal around the edges. It's reminiscent of a iPhone 5. So it's got the really nice glass back on it. It's very shiny. It is a fingerprint magnet, which kind of sucks. So you will be wiping this a lot if you don't put a case on it. And also I highly recommend a case because glass doesn't do so well when you drop it. Like I said, this is a glass back and front obviously. So if you drop this, chances are it's probably going to crack. And also going around the side, we've got a USB Type-C connector. We've got a headphone jack. We've got a power button. And then we've got a volume up and down rocker. And then this, interestingly enough, has a hot button on the side, which is for launching your camera. And you just press it, whether your phone's asleep or awake, and it will unlock and open your camera. Like I said, the hardware is really nice. The display is actually an AMOLED display. It's a five and a half inch HD AMOLED display, um, 1920 by 1080. It's also Dragon Trail glass, which I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's a cheaper version of Gorilla Glass or just an off-brand version, but these are the specs from the Microsoft Store. This has got uh, 64 gigabytes of internal memory. Of course, you can put an SD card in it and expand it up to 128 gigabytes. You've got four gigs of RAM is what Microsoft says, but I think it's actually only three and a half if you go to Alcatel's own website, but three and a half to four gigs of RAM, you're really not gonna notice a difference, so we'll just call it an even four to keep it simple. Like I said, this has got expandable uh, SD card slot for micro SD. Um, I did mention it does have a fingerprint sensor on the back, which that is so far my only gripe about this is it's kind of iffy. It works probably 100% of the time, 70% of the time, so there's no ridge on it to actually find it. So you got to kind of train yourself where to put it. Um, but it works most of the time, but it is a little finicky. This does have a, a pretty massive camera hump, but the camera is pretty good. It is a 21 megapixel rear camera. It does shoot full HD video. So I'm going to show you guys some samples of video that I shot with this and photos that I shot with this. milliamp battery in it but out of any smartphone that I have owned to date ever this has got the best battery life I um, would consider myself a fairly heavy smartphone user and at the end of the day when I'm finally going to bed I'm still only I'm still only down to about 50% and that's using Microsoft continuum watching YouTube playing with it so the battery on this is excellent so if you're looking for a phone with extremely awesome battery, then I would highly recommend this. Like I said, I've owned iPhone 6S Pluses, Samsung phones, and the battery on this just blows them away. All right, so moving around to the front of this, we talked about the rear camera being a 21 megapixel. The front facing camera on this is actually eight megapixel. And again, I'll show you pictures with that. It does a pretty good job. I mean. What I'll say about this camera is it's good, but it's not great. 
It's not going to be as good as an iPhone 7 camera or a Galaxy camera, but it's close. And when you're paying half the price, it's definitely worth it. So no issues with the camera. Like I said, I think it takes pretty good pictures, front and rear. The video seems to be pretty good. And for $288, I'm not going to complain. And another interesting thing about this phone is it comes with a VR headset in the box. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I tried it and I will tell you that it's okay. And that's being generous. Um, the hardware itself is actually pretty nice. However, the little app store for this, there's literally only probably there's less than 50 games in that app store. So I tried a couple of them and they're okay. But having used the Samsung Gear VR, um, this kind of sucks. I'm going to be honest with you. So if you're buying this for the gear or for the VR headset, I would pass on that. But having said that, it comes with it. So if you want to play with it, it's fine. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not very good. But VR headset aside, this is an excellent phone and I highly recommend it. So moving on to some more features of this phone. It is quick charge compatible. However, it does not have wireless charging, but again, through the USB-C, it charges up fairly quickly, no complaints there. And it does not have NFC as well, so you won't be able to use a Microsoft Wallet or anything like that. So like I said, this has got the same internal specs as you would get with the HP Elite X3 with the Snapdragon 820 and the four gigs of RAM. However, the camera and just the hardware is okay. But like I said, for the price, $288, you're getting flagship specs you're getting a good camera and my favorite feature you're getting is Microsoft Continuum. Now, I've played with this in depth. I tried it with the Microsoft wireless display adapter and I've tried it with using the actual Microsoft dock and it works really well. Apps load fairly quickly. I mean, you can use Microsoft Office, Excel, all that good stuff. Um, the Edge browser I think is pretty good. So it is a really good, um, proof of concept for Microsoft's Continuum. So I'll show you a demo of that uh, while you're watching this, but like I said, it is my favorite feature of this phone. That's one reason why I wanted to try Windows Phone, specifically Windows 10 Mobile, is because I wanted to use Continuum. And this phone, I bought this just so I could try it out to see if it was all that in a bag of chips, because I really wanted to get the HP Elite X3, which I did, and it was because I tried this phone and I liked it so much. So. I'm actually going to be returning this because I've got the HP Elite X3, but if you're leaning toward that, I still recommend this phone because it is half the price of the HP Elite and it does all the same things as far as Microsoft Continuum is concerned. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you got any questions on this phone or Microsoft Continuum, just throw it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. I'm going to try and do some separate videos on Continuum. But like I said, at the end of the day, I highly recommend this phone if you're interested about trying Windows Phone or if you just are a Windows Phone fan already. And if you are a T-Mobile customer, I definitely recommend this. Like I said, $288 with T-Mobile. You can't beat that price. So as always, thanks for watching.